Hello and welcome, I'm Nate 42 and in this episode we're going to show you how to update the Prusa firmware with Octoprint. Okay, so this is Octoprint uh, and before you do anything with this, it would be best to install something called Putty. That's this software right here. As you can see, Putty is a uh, SSH client, uh, which is something that you need to connect remotely to your to your printer. Okay, so um, what you need to do is to install something called AVR Dude onto your Raspberry Pi. So take the address for your for your Raspberry Pi, open Pi back up, and we'll chop it down so it's just the IP address. Now you just want to SSH onto your Raspberry Pi. Click open here, and it will load up this as is like this. Now the default for this is pi with password raspberry and that will allow you to get into the raspberry pi um, and yeah now you have shell access on your raspberry pi. So what you need to do is you need to type sudo apt get update. Now what this does is it allows you to run an update for the raspberry pi you do this, uh, oh it needs the password again, so raspberry, there's pretty much like an update every day, so whichever day you do this, it will have an update for you, uh, even if you did this yesterday, which I did, because I've already done this, uh, this update, but I thought I'd show you how I did it, because it took me a while to figure out how to do it, so if I could do like a real quick video on this, then you can do it a lot quicker than it would have taken me, which is always good. Okay, now the update has done. Uh, it well, the update is done. Now you want to type in sudo apt get install avr dude. Now, uh, well, that just means I, I think if uh, I remember correctly, sudo is like super admin, or whatever apt get means app get pretty much uh, which is like for the app store kind of thing which isn't really an app store but it's like a online repository kind of thing uh, and then install AVR dude. AVR dude is this uh, software that you need and that's why we're having to do this uh, SSH thing so we do that it will tell me that I've already had it installed for you it might take a little bit longer than it just did for me um, but yeah there we go that's fine, it doesn't matter. As long as it's done, that is that part done. Now, that was the part that I was a little bit struggling with last time. What you want to do next is you want to open up the little spanner in Octoprint. You make sure you log in first because otherwise that won't work. Go down to Plugin Manager and go get more. And then type in Firmware Updater. Now, it probably won't show up for me because I've already got it installed. Or maybe I just need to type firmware. No, it must not. It must not show up for me because I've already got it installed. Install that the way that it says. You just press install there, and literally it will run the install. You have to restart the um, Octo Print uh, after that's completed. Then come back to here. Go into firmware updater. Now you have firmware updater up here. It will say the serial port. So you select select the right serial port. It will say from file that's fine and then there's a little spanner up here as well so we're going to click on the spanner make sure it says AVR dude 80 mega 26 uh, 25 60 path to AVR dude is this one with forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash AVR dude with no, no trailing slash but with a uh, beginning slash um, and then AVR programmer type will be wiring save that I've already saved that so I'm not doing it now what you need to do is go to Prusa if you type Prusa firmware into Google you'll see it come up with Prusa3d.com for such drivers make sure you use this one and then here it says version 3.4.0 which is the latest one that I have right now you're going to click on that and it will get you to download the software or the firmware sorry that will allow you to open up this file here 
and it has an upgrade guide and stuff like that and you know other stuff for if you want to do it the normal way uh take the hex file and drag that to your desktop as i just did go back into here browse and then it will show up on your desktop click open and then flash from file it will take a prob a, probably about five to ten minutes and then it will have updated on your printer uh, do not power cycle uh, while it is running the update because that could potentially brick your system uh, probably not but it, but it could do so you don't run the risk if you don't have to um, yeah and there you go then you've updated your printer and you didn't have to even like plug unplug your Raspberry Pi which is nice because that could always be a pain in the ass when you have to actually do stuff you know so there you go that was a nice quick and easy way on how to update your Prusa system uh, oh also once you have reached first when, when you first connect to your system so we'll just connect here we'll connect again it will restart and it will do all this loading stuff which is a little fun um, if you scroll up to here it'll say uh, receive echo 3.4.0 Oh, don't want to do that. 3127. That is the version number that we have, and that is how you find out if you have, uh, well, what version number that you do have. Um, and you can also check that on the printer itself if you wanted to go onto the printer and go into like one of the settings down there under support, I believe it is. And it will, it will tell you the printer thing there. So that is that. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go to subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Nathan42. And thanks for watching.